Hi, this is Mr. T with a tutorial on the introduction to integrals. Integrals, when we find an integral of a function, we are finding what's called an antiderivative, meaning the inverse of a derivative. The way we could verify that we have found an appropriate antiderivative is to take the derivative of our answer, which I've highlighted here, and make sure that it gives you back the function that was inside of our integration notation. The symbol we use for integration is this uh, tall skinny S shape and paired with that that brackets it is this DX. So we would read this as finding the integral of F of X and we use the word with respect to X, what variable that we are integrating with. When we integrate we get a family of functions, that's why it's referred to as the indefinite integral and those functions are all the same in terms of the powers of x's but they differ possibly by different constants called the constant of integration an example here is the integral of 5x to the fourth is x to the fifth plus c c could be any real number it could be one two negative three a decimal etc to find these integrals we'll be using a set of rules which are shown on this next slide I'll let you read the rules. You can see them, and when we go through our examples in the next page, we will be applying these rules. Our first problem, we'll use that fourth rule where we break this up into integrals of a bunch of separate functions. So we're going to treat f of x squared as a function, 4x as a function, and 3. So here we get the integral of 5x squared dx plus the integral of 4x dx plus the integral of 3 dx. We can use the third property to bring this constant out front. So we have 5 times the integral of x squared dx plus 4 times the integral of x dx plus th uh, the integral of 3 dx. We can use for this part the first rule, so we're going to add 1 to the exponent and divide by the new exponent. Here we can use our second rule, so we have our, I mean our first rule, we're going to add 1 to the exponent and divide by the new exponent. And we use our second rule, the integral of a constant. And each of these would have a plus c, but we can put that as a single c because if we have three arbitrary constants added together it's still just an arbitrary constant. So now we can simplify this as shown here. Okay, I've erased that first solution and let's talk about number two. Frequently, one of the key skills on integrals is that we have to rewrite our integral before we can apply our rules. We don't have any integral rule at this time that has an x in the bottom. We also don't have anything for the square root sign. So if I convert the square root, that would be x to the one half. And if I move it to the numerator, we have x to the negative one half dx. Now I could bring this two out front. But as we get experience, we just know that when we integrate, we've still got the 2. And now we use our power rule, so we're going to add 1 to negative 1 half and divide by the new exponent and add our integration constant. Now we simplify 2 divided by 1 half, which is 4x to the 1 half plus c, or we get 4 square root of x plus c. For our last example over here, we have another skill which is called dividing out. We don't have the equivalent of a quotient rule, so I have to divide the x squared into both terms. So I have the integral of 3x cubed, because we subtract the exponents using our exponent properties, minus x dx. Now we can apply our integration rule, so we add 1 to the exponent, divide by the new exponent, minus x squared over 2 plus c, and at this point we can't simplify either of those. That was a 4, and we are done. That's our integral. So I hope this helps as an introduction to uh, integration.